What you're looking at here is the MTC HC150. This is a 150 GPM mobile fuel polishing unit. Uh, it's broken up into two different skids here. We have a pre-filter skid that'll separate water and large particulate. And we have a secondary skid that will remove uh, fine particulate and condition the fuel on its way out. The system is driven by an electronic smart filtration controller that'll give you alarms, allow you to run in auto or manual mode, and allow you to adjust the frequency of the motor so we can ramp up to 160 GPM all the way down to 15 GPM. Now, this system is typically run in a kidney loop fashion where fuel is taken from one side of the tank and returned to the other. This will create a flow within the tank and move any particulate that might be trapped on the bottom or within a baffle. All right, fuel will enter from the inlet side of the tank into the pre-filtration skid, uh, which can be isolated on both sides. Fuel enters in parallel, uh, these bag filter vessels. And these bag filters can take down to one micron up to 150 micron, depending on your flow rate and your uh, the quality of your diesel fuel. The fuel then moves in parallel to water separators. These separate the water and the diesel fuel uh, due to the difference in specific gravity of the water. Uh, it's heavier, so it tends to accumulate on the bottom. Then it moves through in between the skids in a uh, clear suction hose so that you can see the flow and you can see if you have any particulate moving through. At that point, we enter the uh, final filtration skid. This is where your controller and your VFD is located along with your pump and your final filters. It typically goes in the pump and there's two options at this point. You can exit back right after the pump, back to the tank. This allows you to use the pre-filter skid in order to remove any large particulate and perform faster filtering without actually using up the more expensive uh, cartridges. If you've done the pre-filtering already and you're, you're past that point, then we typically move past this valve into the two magnetic conditioners which will break up any agglomeration of the particles and then we move into the final filtration stage. Final filtration stage can be a combination or a single uh, particulate removal or water block. Water block if you have a lot of emulsified water or if water buildup in your tank is a real problem. Fine particulate if you're more concerned with getting down to a low ISO count, uh, something that will run well in tier four engines or something with tight injector tolerances. After the, pre, or the final filter stage, we move out of the skid again and uh, you can typically view the flow rate on a flow rate meter uh, we have as an option. This will give you an idea of what you're putting in and out of the tank. And we move through the discharge hose back into the tank. Now this process can run uh, for a number of hours depending on how big the tank is, uh, what your fuel quality is, and where you want to be with the fuel quality at the end of the day. There's a number of different options with these systems. We add wheels, uh, you can add them onto a trailer. Really, it depends on the application, your tanks, and what you'll be polishing.